Hello everyone. I'm going to do a quick video tutorial on how to print optical discs from Swift Publisher on Mac OS Mojave to an Epson printer, in this case an XP printer 830. Hopefully your Epson is close uh, in model to mine and this will help you because it's a little uh, complicated, not so much because of Swift Publisher, but because of how the driver works with Mac OS, in this case Mac OS Mojave. Now the change to Swift Publisher is that it now prints on optical discs because their disc cover app is now discontinued because it's 32-bit and now we're moving into 64-bit. So the, the update to Swift Publisher now has all those features in there, how to print to optical discs, business cards, all that other stuff. So, But before we deal with Swift Publisher, we need to deal with the printer. So. A, you need to have a USB cable connecting your printer to your Mac. It will not work if you don't have that. B, you have to make sure that you have the USB version of your driver installed. And that's a problem because by default, Mac OS is going to install the AirPrint driver, which prints wirelessly, which is great for regular printing, but the wireless printer does not allow you to print on optical disks with Swift Publisher or even the previous Discover app. So let's see what we have. I have my, my printers connected with, with USB cable, so A is taken care of. So now let's look, look at the point B here. I'm going to see what kind of driver that I have. Now I'm going to open up my system preferences and I'm going to click on this icon here that says printers and scanners. And when you do, you're going to see whatever drivers you have over here on the left. So you want to highlight what you have by clicking on it. And you want to read what it says, kind, Epson, XP, in this case it's the 830, which is what I'm using. This should have the model number that you're using. And it says series, and then it has AirPrint. Okay? This means this is the AirPrint driver, and I cannot use this driver to print. Now, let me click on this one, and this one just says Epson XP 830 series, and it doesn't say anything. If, uh, uh, again, this will have your model number. But if it doesn't say AirPrint, then this is the USB driver, okay? Uh, so what if you only have one here and you have AirPrint? Then you need to load the USB driver. So how do you load the USB driver? I'm going to show you how to do that. You click the plus button, and this comes up. And for this to work, of course, your printer needs to be on and connected with a USB cable. So you highlight the very first thing here, and it says Epson. This will have your model number, in my case, the 830 series, and it says USB multifunction. But notice down here it says AirPrint. So that means if I click Add, it's going to add the AirPrint driver again. And I don't want the AirPrint driver, I want the USB driver. So you have to click this and click, in this case, it's going to say 830 series, but it'll say I have your model number. And when you click this, it matches what this says, and this will now be the USB driver. What I like to do to distinguish between the two is I type via USB and then I click add and then it will now add that driver to the list of printers that I can print to. I've already added it though as you see here via USB. And you click it and, it, and just verify that it doesn't say AirPrint here. When I click this one it does say AirPrint. And then what you want to do to distinguish between the two is you can rename the printer and then put in the via AirPrint and click OK and then you know that this one is the AirPrint one and this one is the USB one. This helps you when you're going to print and you select in a print dialog box which printer you want to use. It's the same printer but how it interfaces with the printer is very different. You want to make sure that you print with the one via USB when you're printing from Swift Publisher or, or uh, Discover. You can also set up which one you want to be your default printer by simply right clicking on it and you can set the default. That's going to be the one that selects automatically when it first opens. Okay, now that our printer is set up and we have the USB cable connected and we have the USB driver here, we now are now going to go to Swift Publisher. Swift Publisher 5 now includes the ability to print on disks, as I said. So we're going to print one. So I'm going to just select this one and it comes up. And let's say I'm ready to print. I've done everything I need to do to the disk and I'm ready to print it. Before I print it, I must go up here to change layout from the file menu. 
click this and for my printer I'm going to select Epson tray type 2 uh, in most cases this is going to be the correct CD tray for you uh, CD tray 1 uh, only has a handful of uh, stylus photo printers most of which are, are not being made anymore but uh, CD tray type 2 uh, should cover most all other Epson um, printers so this will be the XP series uh, artisan series etc so make sure you have Epson tray type 2 CD tray and you click OK and you'll notice over here on the right that it now indicates all this information so you're now ready to go into the print dialog box so up here it's the nice little green icon print and this comes up and you'll see here the first thing you want to do is make sure up here for printer that you're using your USB version this is why it's very helpful to label how it's, it's going to print to the printer. So I want to print to the USB driver, Epson USB. Make sure you don't select the fax or the AirPrint fax or the AirPrint. You want to select the USB version, okay? Next, you'll notice down here that the media is, of course, what you selected, Epson tray type two, okay? Now notice when you go to print settings, though, that this information is not correct. If you hit print now, you're going to get this nice image on a nice 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and that's not what you want. You want the printer to ask you to insert the, uh, the CD or DVD to print on. Some of the printers out there like the Artisan have an automatic tray and everything but uh, and those might work a little differently but uh, the XB series has a tray that you got to take out of the bottom of it and put the, the CD on and the printer has to ask you for it. So the printer has to ask us for the uh, CD and DVD. If you hit print now, it's not going to do that. It's going to print it on a sheet of paper. So you have to make a change, and to make that change, you have to go up here to paper handling. With paper handling, you go down here to this option here that says scale to fit paper size. Check that. And now you have this drop down menu. Go down to A4 and click CD and DVD. Now when you go back to print settings, you will now see the correct information. Media type, CD, DVD. And of course it's going to be best quality. If you have a premium surface CD, DVD, you can make this change here. And of course it gives you the warning that this can take up to 24 hours to dry. But I have a regular one. At this point I can now press the print button and your printer will now print the CD and DVD. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thank you for watching.